Welcome to Gatri's Cook Spot. I am Gatri Kumar and today I will show you how to make caramel custard. This one is with the eggs and if you want an eggless version check the description box below for the link. I have given the ingredient list in the description box below. Please take a look and preheat your oven to 180 degrees centigrade. In a saucepan take sugar for the caramel and heat it. Do not stir the sugar. The sugar will start browning and it will start melting and it will become a caramel sauce. This takes place very quickly so do not leave the side of your stove. Keep ready 6 ramekins in which you have to transfer the syrup or you can do it in a single round dish. Once the sugar is completely melt and the syrup is ready, pour it into the ramekins. Do this fast because it crystallizes easily. And allow this to cool completely. Now let us make the custard. To eggs add sugar and vanilla essence and mix them well. We don't want this to be airy. We just want to mix all the ingredients together. Once all the ingredients are mixed, heat amal cream until it starts bubbling. Once you see the bubbles, remove it from flame and pour it into the prepared egg mixture while continuously stirring the mix. We don't want to scramble the eggs. The custard must be smooth. Keep on stirring until all the cream is incorporated into the eggs. Now pour the custard onto the ramekins. Divide it equally. Or you can use a 8 inches cake tin. Now place the ramekins into a deep baking tray. Pour hot water to fill at least half the tray. And bake this for 20 to 25 minutes. Do not over bake. The center of the custard should be slightly jiggly. Now allow this to cool completely, remove the water from the tray, arrange the ramekins again and cover it with a clean film, um, sorry, aluminium foil. Refrigerate this for 2 to 3 hours. Now you can serve your caramel custard. Loosen the side of the custard with a knife or a butter knife. And gently flip it onto your serving plate. Look how beautiful the custard is. The bitterness of the caramel goes very well with the sweet custard. It's so good to taste. And look at the texture of the custard. It's so creamy and soft. And it makes a very great dessert. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and comment. And please subscribe to the channel to receive updates. Thank you.